Hi, I'm a John Landis impersonator, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at one of the great American films. I say that a lot, but this time it is true. It's uh, written by Billy Wilder and Charles Brackett, directed by Billy Wilder, starring Bill Holden and Gloria Swanson, cameos by Buster Keaton. It is Sunset Boulevard, and it is a gothic horror Hollywood soap opera murder mystery. It's wonderful. This is a modest introduction to a new Paramount picture, Sunset Boulevard, with the cigarette butts, crumpled cigarette packs in the street. Now that's a credit the DGA wouldn't let you have now. Billy Wilder um, was an extraordinary Viennese Jew who made this movie, among others, but this movie was made at a time of Hollywood when Louis B. Mayer was still at MGM. It was the 50s, there's Hedda Hopper. It's a horror film, it's a gothic horror film, and you want to really get depressed. Gloria Swanson, the, the past-it movie star, is old. She's 50 in the movie. Um, this is an amazingly smart, witty movie, Bill Holden. It's, it's just, it's terrific. I don't know how to explain it. It's terrific and very prescient. That's the wonderful Jack Webb when he was still thin and before he was a police officer. I forgot her name. Kathy Olson? Nancy Olson. Thank you, Joe. Nancy Olson uh, in a great performance. This is a, a good movie, and it's before Paramount got beat up and became kind of a funky ghost town until Barry Diller bought it, and then he fixed it up again, and it's beautiful again. This is Cecil B. DeMille, his set. He's performing. He's wonderful. I mean, you see real Hollywood here. And this, uh, the, the, there's CB with Gloria Swanson. They made movies in the silence together. This is at her house. He sleeps with her. This is um, a grotesque film. It's kind of like Dracula in her house. Look at that great cigarette holder. Gloria Swanson was a great star and had a great sense of humor. And she attacked the role. Uh, there are a lot of actresses, um, he offered it to Sutu, who wouldn't do it to play someone who was washed up and old. There's the famous waxworks in this, where they're playing cards and it's Buster Keaton. It's, it's just got a lot of flavor. It's very accurate. Uh, even down to the set dressing in her house, which wasn't on Sunset Boulevard, that was a set, but the house was actually on Wilshire Boulevard. Although they shot on Sunset Boulevard, it's just a lovely film. His girlfriend finds out he's a kept man. He's a writer, so therefore he's sympathetic <laughs> because this is a movie made by writers. It's sensationalistic. It's a monster movie. Everything about it is a monster movie. That's Rodeo Drive. This uh, has the famous opening shot, which they won't show us, Eric von Stroheim. There's a scene in this where von Stroheim is showing an old Gloria Swanson movie, and it's one he actually directed that was never finished. Anna Q. Nels Nielsen and H.B. Warner and Franklin Farman. These guys, real movie stars, big stars, and this is only 20 years later.